The day we're taking a look at these NCAAF matches, which are happening on Thursday, October 14, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified, as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Navy vs Memphis the Navy midshipmen have been struggling defensively so far this year as they are allowing 32.2 points per game. In their last game against the SMU Mustangs, they gave up 31 points on 404 total yards of offense, 324 passing, 80 rushing. The midshipmen had a solid foundation defensively as they forced the Mustangs to go just 2 of 11 on 3rd down, but allowed both 4th down attempts to convert. Navy also forced a pair of turnovers in this game, one fumble recovery, one interception. If the Navy midshipmen can continue to get better and trust one another, it will really help their defensive strategies. The Memphis Tigers defensive unit has been struggling a bit this season as they are giving up 32.7 points per game. Looking at their last game against the Tulsa Golden Hurricane, they allowed 35 points on 417 total yards of offense, 182 passing, 235 rushing. They struggled to get stops on third down as Tulsa is 6 of 14 on those key downs. The biggest issue was the fact that the Golden Hurricane went 5.1 yards per rushing attempt in this game. If Memphis can correct their defensive woes, it will get them their first American Conference victory. Our first betting advice is to pick Navy plus 10.5 Memphis amassed over 600 yards of offense against Tulsa last week and still lost the game. Wide receiver Calvin Austin continues his incredible season with 13 catches for 200 yards and a TD. Quarterback Seth Hennigan played unevenly, tossing for 463 yards with two TDs, but also had two picks and a fumble. That included an interception late in the game as the Tigers had a chance to win with a TD. They were hurt by Tulsa's 234 yards on the ground, including 126 yards from Shamari Brooks. The good news for Navy is that since Lavatai has taken over at quarterback, the mids went from scoring around 10 points per game to now 29 over the last two weeks. The key for that option offense is to run for over 200 yards and control the clock. They averaged 219 rushing yards per game, which ranks 19th in the nation. The passing game is basically an afterthought though Lavatai, 130 yards, has shown he can hit a few downfield per game. Isaac Ruiz leads the team with 233 yards rushing. Our second betting advice is to pick over 55. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.